Nicola Sturgeon's independence dream, will never, happen. Won't be around much longer. Nicola Sturgeon will not be around long enough to achieve her Scottish independence dream according to a former Brexit Party MEP. June Mummery told Express.co.uk that the people of Scotland would be, mad, to back Nicola Sturgeon's independence push in a bid to rejoin the European Union. The former Brexit Party spokesperson on fisheries added that Scotland's fishing industry will not want to rejoin the trading bloc despite suffering problems since the Brexit transition period ended. Ms Mummery said, they would be mad, they would be absolutely mad to let her, Sturgeon, rejoin that, the EU. So then the EU can fish all their waters. No that will not happen, no Scottish fishermen will have that. A lot of the problems that have happened were the exporting of fish, not the catching. It was the people that buy the fish that had problems exporting. As far as fishermen go, there is no chance that will not happen. I honestly do not think there is a Scottish fisherman out there, that would want to agree to that. That is not going to happen, I don't think she will be around much longer. Last month Scottish fishing businesses launched a protest against the post-Brexit paperwork that was torpedoing their exports to the European Union as a dozen lorries blocked Westminster. Some of the lorries outside of Parliament had anti-Brexit slogans in bold writing on the side of them such as Brexit carnage. Scottish fishing businesses had seen a sharp decrease in exports to the European Union in the initial weeks following the Brexit transition period ending on January 1, 2021. Adam Payne, Westminster reporter for Politics Home tweeted, Scottish fishing businesses have this morning brought around a dozen lorries to Westminster to protest how post-Brexit paperwork is torpedoing their exports to the EU. Reporter Angela Haggerty told the BBC that the problem Scotland's fishing sector has suffered since the end of the post-Brexit transition period could demonstrate that fishermen were misled regarding Brexit. Ms Haggerty said, there is an argument to be had that this is all about problems with procedure and that things will iron themselves out, the other argument would be that they were misled in general about Brexit and what it could offer them. I think if that turns out to be the case then that is very dangerous. That is one of the industries that was promised a lot as being part of the Union and being outside the European Union. In terms of the future of Scotland, if you continue to alienate the industries that may already support the Union and the UK government, then you are in big trouble.